Good morning, everyone. So to before I get started with all of today's videos, they're going to start launching in a couple hours here. Um, I did get some stuff in yesterday from HSN. It's probably from the craft day from earlier this week, either Monday and Tuesday around there because I did order some things. Some things are still on extended delivery or on their way, should I say. Um, but uh, so, yeah, so any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links, if those items are still available. Um, but what I want to do in here in this video is also do the... Um, giveaway results for the Dollar Tree items that Myra had sent in. So thank you so much, Myra. Um, let's not wait any longer. I'll put the um, results in right now. Okay, so if you go to the original video, we had 557 comments. So those are basically entries, unless, you know, somebody was just saying hi and <laughs> not entering. But uh, and they are sorted by the newest first, so the very first comment that came in would be number one, all the way to the last comment being this one here. Um, so if I go to random.org, uh, click the um, mouse pad, I know it makes a lot of noise. So from one to one to 557, the first prize winner is number 158. If you recall, there were two prizes. Uh, this is the first name, so they win prize number one. And that is Christy Munson. She says, please enter me, our Dollar Tree. And many others doesn't get these cute items. So that's a comment that I saw over and over. <laughs> so, yeah, it seems like not a lot of Dollar Trees are having those. Um, okay. And then the second winner, so congratulations, Christy, uh, is number 110. And that happens to be scrapper karen 60 she says enter me great haul from the dollar tree i can't find the dies which is very typical and what's funny is that there's a comment here from myra who had donated those she says totally cool to see my found goodies going to good homes i've kept a lookout and not seen them again it's all in the luck of the draw now i need to use my set lol and good luck everybody so there it is um so i'll have the information right now i'll just talk to you guys about claiming your prizes when i go back to my um work area Okay, so uh, ladies who won, um, I'll have my email in the description box and you can email um, to claim your prizes. Um, please try to do that within 48 hours just so I can get them out and going and um, you can get your prizes. <laughs> so that's that. Um, what I was going to say is yesterday I had gave you guys an alert. I was like, oh, when I saw this tiny notes on um, HSN um, and in the title of the video I put new um, mini machine a bundle because it's a diamond press thing and it comes with uh, it's a bundle of these items it doesn't have everything in this but it's kind of like a revamp tiny notes it has like basically those things and maybe not one of these arrows and then a different doily um, cutter and then it has two stamp sets and I think it comes with one small cutting folder and one large cutting folder um, in the picture it has two but then in the description it shows one it says two of these and one I'm sorry it shows two of these and one of these but in the description it says one long and one short so anyway I had mentioned that and then later somebody asked me about what's new about it you know that there we have the machine and I was like oh no no <laughs> actually I don't know if I've responded yet the machine isn't new it's a newer edition of this machine I have the original not the original round one because that was a different one um then when they first came out with this shape um the handle I believe if you look in here is plastic it's lined with plastic and then it goes in there and that handle can sometimes break off so this is the newer edition of this type of machine that has the metal I don't know if you can see that that metal so nothing's ever going to happen to that. Um, so that's the upgraded edition, but that's th that's what this is. So that's what they're selling right now, and they have it in a teal color. And then what other question did I get asked? Um, yeah, so the stamp sets I think are the same. They just updated the packaging for it because it has the pretty colors like Diamond Press does. And one other thing, oh, if you can put these in the marquee. Yes, of course, I always put these in the marquee. And it's nice to use these for the marquee instead of using your bigger folders because you, know, you can get these beat up and spare your bigger folders for like bigger projects. But yeah. So these will definitely go, well, I don't have anything to cut right now, but obviously if I had something to cut, I would put it in there, <laughs> cut it, and the marquee, same thing for some reason, and I'm just, because I'm like, I don't know that I'm a type A personality, because I don't care about things being perfect, but I do like doing things a certain way. Um, this, I always put it just down the center, and it'll cut out. So, however you want to use them, you can put them sideways probably too, like this. Anyway however they go through. So I did want to clarify a couple of those things. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, this is a bundle that HSN just put on the site for uh, Diamond Press and it's the machine, the folders and the Tiny Notes, uh, revamped Tiny Notes set. And I'll have the links for that too if you would like. 
Okay, so what is here? Let's see. I would say this one box doesn't feel like it has anything in it, and then the other one's much lighter, so let's see. Oh, yay, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay. Unfortunately, when these things sold out, maybe they'll bring it back, but I doubt it. A lot of times with the Stamps of Life or even when things sell out, it's just not there, and maybe she'll have it on her site later, but um, Pocket Pals, Tiki Hut. This is so cute, the LDRS set. I love these little guys, and I figure we can use this with a pirouette because they're so small. If you wanted to put and make a pirouette background with some of the cute little, like this little sun or the word smile, or, you know, the little people that are in here, I think it's going to be adorable. And well, it's not people on this one, this one has animals, but here's the tiki. And make a shape card out of this, you know, make it really cute. I just, I just love it. So there's the tiki set, the dies that will cut everything. You cut your little door open, cut your little windows so the windows actually work, little apertures so that you can place um, your cute little characters. Look at these little guys. And these are photopolymer stamps. And speaking of LDRS, I now have an affiliate uh, link with them. So um, I'll have that in the description box always, like I have all the rest of my links. Um, and if there's anything you want to check out on their site, if you want to use that, that's available. Um, and thank you guys a lot. You guys are really excited about that. I am too. I, I'm super happy about that because I know I pick up most of their stuff on HSN, but she has a lot more stuff. Angie, the uh, creator of the company there. Look at the little mermaid. I guess there are people. How cute would that be? Look at that. To put all these cute little things in your <laughs> pirouette. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at her just laying out. Oh, so cute. And then all the dyes that go with every single one of these little... Like, pretty much everything um, is normal. I mean, maybe not these words, but, like, all the characters, even the little tiniest things have a die for them. And then she always has a little set of instructions. It's more like inspiration. Super cute. Oh, look at her. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so cute. All right, so there's that one. This other set, I believe, sold out. Actually, while they were presenting it, I already picked mine up, and I think I already mentioned it to you guys that it was there. Um, so let's check this out. Oh, no, no, no. Well, ooh, okay. So I don't know if this particular set sold out, but I know the main set for this sold out. So this is the inserts for the um, Stamps of Life um, Slimline set. And uh, hopefully I'll have that in this other box because I thought that's interesting. I figured this would have been... I don't know why. I was assuming this was the other set. But you can put these inserts in anything or cut your own. Like, you don't have to have the main set for this to work for you if you just cut a mat that's, you know, eight and a quarter by... F what, three and a quarter or whatever it is that I met into a standard slimline that I like. Um, you can just pop that on there and have this background in the paper that you cut. Or maybe, I don't know, I'll have to try and see if this even fits in like my diamond press ones or my LDRS, like the main dies that cut the mat for you. Very cool. Or uh, the Anna Griffin ones. Okay, let me see. What's This one's harder to open. <laughs> this one I was able to tear it. Oh gosh, I'm sure I'm going to drop something. Hold on. Don't. No, no, no. I try not to drop stuff, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not like I try like consciously to drop things, but they just, you know, it'd be nice if I didn't, if I didn't drop things all the time. Okay, what's this? Oh, yay, yay. Okay, good. This is the... Stamps of Life Newport Birdhouse, which I don't know if that's a style of birdhouse. Um, I believe Stephanie lives out in Newport Beach out here in California, so I don't know if I has to be inspired by that, but um, is that true? I feel like she's... <laughs> anyway, uh, I feel like she's mentioned that before, but anyway, 5x7 birdhouse folded card, and um, super cute. So again, the reason it's folded is that you would use this outer die to basically put it on the edge wherever you want of a card base or your paper that you folded. So this doesn't actually do that for you. You still judge that part and then you decorate it. So you can just use this as a something on a scrapbook page, you know? And then the cute little flowers that go along with it, which is really sweet. I like that. Uh, it says Newport Flower, but it's kind of covered up. So I believe that's what that's called. <laughs> Those two sets that are in here. This should be the main set. Oh, again, not as easy to tear this one. <laughs> Oh, come on. All right, there it is. So this is the main set. This did sell out, and for whatever reason, they had uh, given it free shipping. I did order mine earlier in the day, and then um, it didn't say anything about free shipping. But later when I checked, I was like, oh, I better check on this. Um, in the 
after I even placed my order, when I checked the order, it did reflect free shipping. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. So like they updated it themselves. Um, so if you happen to order this on Tuesday and for some reason you didn't get the free shipping, maybe you want to contact them. Um, I don't know. Like I said, it looks like they updated it themselves. I don't know about if you order on Monday or, you know, that might not work. But either way, so... We have uh, the slimline creator here. It is big. Now this is not gonna go, I mean, it'll go in the Empress if you have the larger extended cutting plates, but again, you can do that trick where I show you how to do half and then do the other half or portion. Not Gemini Junior, not even close. Eh, well, kind of close, maybe, eh, no, maybe an extra inch you need. So a larger, any larger machine, obviously your Tangerine, your Gemini, you know. Um, Oh, you know, let me measure it too, just so we have this idea in case they bring it back or if you find it later. It is seven inches, perfect. So it makes a three and a half by eight and a half card. That's what it should be, you guys. <laughs> That's just my opinion, but all right. And then all these cute things. That, and I love that it came with the other extra words. So you can use these words on anything. Um, you can even use this on a mini slim line because they don't look like they're much bigger than six inches. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, a lot of inspiration that goes along with that. Look at that. Oh, look at this one. Is that the one that... No, I was going to say, that's a different one, isn't it? Wait, is that the one that's over here? Oh, it is. It looks so cute in real life. Like, actually cut out. It's this one. Right here. And then, of course, the lattice. So cute. Okay. Obviously, there's more to look through in there. And then, what do I got here? Oh, cool. Well, you know what? This video is going to be kind of short. I'll go ahead and unbox this. <laughs> this is... I got a weird message the other day, but I think it was about this Crafters Companion box. I tell you guys, sometimes you'll get an email and they'll be like, we're sorry that your auto ship isn't going to ship until like six months from now. They give you some weird date. And then literally it goes out like three days later. So um, I get a lot of worried comments about those. Don't worry about it. Like, honestly, when it's like that, I've gotten that message many times and then it ships a few days later. So I think they're just like covering their bases, but... Um, in case it's super late or something. I don't know. Let me sit down. It's like five in the morning. I should sit down. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys are so funny. The last couple of days I've had like a nice shirt or something because... Um, I don't know, I just was like, I should be getting dressed, especially now that I'm dropping off my son too at school and all these things. And um, some of you commented that you're used to just seeing my plaid or whatever. <laughs> it's, when it's early in the morning, it's chilly. I'm wearing my husband's Pendleton's or whatever, like for sure. Um, some I have a couple, but I like his better. Like this is his sweater too from, I don't know, some kind of cardigan that we liked or he liked. And obviously it's here and I wear it and it's warm. I have my own sweaters. I don't know. I just like wearing big sweaters. <laughs> but thank you guys. <laughs> it was nice. Like, oh, I'm so used to seeing your other kind of sleeves that I wear. Sometimes if you see that it says Victoria's Secret, they are definitely pajamas. Okay, so just a little <laughs> a little note on that. Um, so this is the Ultimate Christmas Compendium, Sentiment and Verses. And when I saw this in my, uh, you know, getting ready to ship, I was like, Sentiment and Verses? I'm like, oh, is it from that big Christmas stamp set I got the versus stamp set but no that that was something else so it was just this it's just that it's called sentiment versus and then there is one coming out from diamond press um which is for the um little I think it's for the turn the turning wheel one it's called family and friends and somebody else had said oh it's the Crafters companion that's family and friends I'm like no I did get that one already <laughs> which was called friends and family or family and friends but Diamond Press also had an auto ship going out basically in the same time frame that's called Family and Friends or whatever. So I'm waiting for that to show up. Let's open Sentiment Versus. This is from, again, the Ultimate Christmas Compendium, um, which is kind of funny that it's still called that. I cannot get this off. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Um, because by now you'd think they would just move on from, but that's the original was called Christmas Compendium. Um, it looks a lot like the... Um, the boxes for all this stuff. What's it called? The Year of Craft? Also has a box like this. Uh, okay, let me unbox this. I was just looking behind me because I have all those boxes behind me already. The original card main compendium is already done. I have all the auto ships from that. But this is the Christmas one that you would have gotten in like in October, whatever time frame it was. So it's not something you can get in now, but sometimes they bring things back. So, okay. Oh, sequins. I like these sequins. They're very pretty little translucent sequence, something different. 
um, a little stencil. I really like stencils, so I, I'm happy with this. <laughs> They're very generic looking like the little flowers, but they look like little flowers, so that's cute. And this one's very interesting. It's like a plaid, but look at that. That's really cool. I like the little holes. <laughs> that's very interesting. Um, this one has the two different designs with like, they look like a daisy initially, but it's just like a really cool geometric background. And then the stripes, like on the diagonals. Um, uh, let's see if I can put this on something. Eh, that's good enough. So happy anniversary, happy birthday. This one looks like a brush stroke. It's a little bit different. Happy new home, just for you. Obviously lots of generic kind of, um, uh, sentiments, best wishes. This one was interesting because this says Christmas. Oh, it doesn't say Christmas. The box is supposed to be Christmas, right? The auto show. I was like, why is there lipstick? <laughs> the box is not having to do with Christmas. It's just, that's the, again, the written initial name. Um, so there's a little lipstick and like a lipstick thing. That's fairly cute. I've never seen them like that. I don't think. Do I, have, I don't know. Uh, the little cake, which I love. The butterfly. And these look like the poppies that we saw kind of recently in the Tonic um, Stamp Club. Uh, oh, Tonic Stamp Club, keep an eye out later today, guys. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna love it. Uh, the little rainbow, if you saw the sneak peeks that Tonic put out, I, a lot of you guys are like, yeah, definitely, it's so cute. Um, be your own kind of beautiful. Um, and it just depends on when you see this video, I will have the links in the description box for the Stamp Club too, why not? <laughs> Whatever else is out today. They already have their weekend bundles up, but if you're gonna order today, you might as well. Get your stamps and your bundles all together or however. Uh, when life gives you birthdays, eat cake. That's really cute. Wishing a very special person a very special birthday. So these are really fun kind of uh, sentiments. I like that. I guess this goes back to that little lipstick with the be your own kind of beautiful. Remember I said it looks like a brush stroke. I guess it's supposed to look like lipstick. That first one. Okay. Those are the stamps. And these are some little dies that kind of frame those things out. It's cute. Card blanks, again, in the 4x6, the 5x7, and probably a 6-inch, yep, square. The envelopes to go along with that. I love this paper. <laughs> remove that paper. I, remove the envelopes. That's so pretty. I'll go through the card really quickly, just because the other, you know, it's what it is. But And by now, you guys, if you're on the auto ship, you probably already got this, so. Oh, this is weird. I was like, there's another piece of paper I'm trying to separate. It's, the, it's where the paper ends, like the design ends. That's odd. Anyway, who cares? Oh, they're all like that. What? Well, not all of them. The next one is. Looks like a little printing issue. Okay, so a few of them are like that. But that's okay. Um, gorgeous paper. Love that. And then this one has that same design from like the stencil, which is really cool. The little stars. I, don't, I think there's some stars on the stamps. Okay, this is really cute. I like the polka dot. The paper itself is a little bit thick than layering weight. It's not cardstock. Little flowers like this little plaid. It's very old school, right? It's something from like the 80s. Um, that same design, but in blues. And then the stripe design here. And then the colored card. It's all these same muted colors. I do like the color palette. I don't know about some of the designs, but like these are really pretty colors. You see that? Right? I mean, that's a pretty color palette. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out later today. Again, like I said, with that tonic release of the new Stamp Club with, um, I also have this one that I held off from yesterday because I did other videos and I decided to hold it off. But this is the auto ship from the Diamond Press um, Happy Mail hidden messages. I know there's lots of different hidden messages and they all kind of say hidden messages. So there's Happy Mail think tiny notes or tiny messages which is the little wheel and then there's the um the iris one which is also called hidden messages <laughs> um so i know it kind of might get confusing but hopefully um if you guys are on those auto ships you'll you'll understand when you see the auto ship ready to to go all right guys thanks for watching and winners uh please contact me and like i said information will be in the description box and thank you so much maida again thank you all so much i mean we're already past 22,000, 22,000 and something i guess we're heading towards 23 and like i always say any success i have with like companies or with my affiliate relationships or affiliate links all that stuff is just because of uh, you guys definitely it's you know uh, really thank you thank you guys so much um and i'll see you guys later today all right bye now